Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to do a dive into, Mikey, what is import, most important uh, when it comes to choosing shafts, mm -hmm. obviously for us as fitters or for you as sort of uh, consumers and, and just going out to buy your own sort of product off the shelf, which we <laughs> never endorse, obviously. But what means, what matters more? Weight flex, uh, sorry, shaft weight or shaft flex? Yeah, I'm a big flex guy. I would, I would, or sorry, I'm a big weight guy. I would always say to clients, I can really take, being a club builder background, yep. you can take certain weights and turn them into certain flexes, obviously with being everything custom built. So I'm, I'm a big proponent on weight. I think the general consensus is yes, weight is more important than, yep. uh, than flex for a lot of people. But, you know, we're gonna do a little test today. We have three shafts at 50, 60, and 70 in yep. stiff. And then we have uh, three shafts at 65 grams, mm -hmm. regular stiff and X flex, yeah, right? Yeah. So we're gonna hit all three uh, profiles now, obviously mm -hmm. slightly different profiles, NX being a little bit softer, DI being a little bit more tip stiff. Mm -hmm. um, but really for, from a, a variability standpoint, Mikey, we're gonna look and see what influences you the most. What moves your strike, what moves your speed, launch, spin, etc. cetera. Yep. Um, and, and hopefully this will really help you guys, I guess, get a look into the, the mind of, of club fitters. You know, what, what is it that we're yeah, thinking of and uh, what is it that, that really matters the most? Totally. Okay. Cool. All okay. right, Mikey boy, we've got your gamer in there. Yeah. Um, TSR3. TSR, yep. We do have nine degrees in this. You play a little bit less in your auto flex because yeah. the dynamic loft mm -hmm. obviously kicks the loft up a little bit in the auto flex, but um, we've got you nine degree weight slightly the heel, which is your kind of dominant yeah. strike is yeah. a little bit heel side. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I hang out in the heel every weekend. It's all right. I'd say what's sort of interesting with this, Mike, is this is probably the shaft that's closest to yours. Yeah. Right, kind of weight-wise, flex-wise, probably not a million miles away. Mm -hmm. uh, so if anything, we should probably see this one be pretty good for you. Yeah. What are you feeling with it? It, feel, it feels very similar to, to my autoflex okay. weight-wise. Um, I'm sure swing weight's right around close. Um, probably more me than anything, but yeah, it feels, feels fine. That was really good. A lot of effort to make that go straight. Yeah, I mean, access to a different point in the head as well, probably yeah. more, more centered. Yeah, I was gonna say even slightly toe strike. A little higher strike. Yep. Yeah, as soon as you hit that higher strike, you're, uh, you're perfect. Oh. All right, Mikey boy, um, 50 stiff was pretty good. Not bad. Let's see what 60 does. Okay. Sounded good. Yeah, a little higher in the face. <clears throat> Immediately, it just looks different in the flight when you catch it up around that red sort of equator line. I mean, that's not even all the way up there, Mikey, but... It, no, but it's night and day. Way better. Can mix in some different strikes with this one, Mikey. Yeah, it's some hard. Some really good ones. Some good also, ones, but I feel like they're... I don't know, tough to say against the first driver. Well, T-Height's <clears throat> made a difference a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it has for sure. We're Some... seeing remarkably similar delivery though. Yeah. And it just a slightly less efficient, I think, because we are dancing around a little bit with that strike point. Right, we're kind of down and around this area. Yeah. All right, up to 70. Okay. Have you ever went heavier with the driver shaft? Never, no. never. Afraid to, go, afraid to go heavy. Because I think you know, your, your desire to be faster will always probably lead you away from ever going in this direction, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right? true, yeah. So it'll be very interesting as we just spoke about with your delivery though, if you're trying to deliver it more from the inside, if, if trying to kind of feel that club kind of fall behind so you can rotate on it rather than 
sort of feel it come out and you get that sort of a little bit of a reverse uh, sort of pivot almost. Certainly hearing that strike higher in the head, that's for sure. Yeah, the strike feels better. Like we said earlier, like in fits, you, me, anyone on staff will, generally if we're struggling someone with a strike, we go towards that slightly heavier combo, 100%. raises the strike, all of a sudden they're like, oh, I can hit in the center of the face. You give them something next and they're, I think their confidence is boosted with strike. Yeah. So would I've notoriously played 60S, I now play that auto flex at standard length. Would I play a 70S? I think mentally, no. Yeah. But that strike is definitely much better. Way better. All right, Mikey. Uh, so through our three weight classes, uh, 50, 60, and 70 stiff, pretty interesting. Lightest was fastest. Yep. Right? The, uh, the red seemed to be most sort of, uh, call it neutral, if you like. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the 70 was really, really interesting. I, I liked a lot about what you were doing with the 70. You struck it in a better spot. You just got a little bit slow with it. Yeah, yeah. Which, which makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel like for me, the heavier weight, I don't know, I feel like I, I, the last couple I hit there, I feel like I couldn't make maybe as large of a backswing. Maybe that's just from being lazy. Um, but that's what it, it felt a little restrictive for me. But the strike was definitely better. Yeah, strike was definitely uh, higher in the head, much, much more on that center line. Yeah. Right, which is really going to help regulate your... Your launch and spin. Yeah, much, much better. All right, Mikey, we've run through the weight classes. Now we're going to run through the flexes. We've yep. got uh, Graphite Design DI 6X. Mm -hmm. In this one, we've got six stiff you've played in the past. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a 6SR, which is their kind of a little, softer. Uh, little bit softer, but more of their regular flex. So yep. let's start with the stiffer one, because knowing that you're hitting a lot of drives today, uh, probably going to have a little less gas at the end. So yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll uh, give you the soft one to finish with. Thank you. Pretty good. Yeah, a little higher in the face. Yeah, makes a difference. Does it feel tough to swing? Yeah, I think as I get into the, I mean, an X is obviously going to be heavier as well. So I think as I get into heavier, it feels like I can't take it all the way back. Like I have to exaggerate a bigger backswing. Yeah. That's what it feels to me. You're working pretty hard for this. It's good yeah. though. I, mean, I think that was the longest carry so far, 260. It's probably, yeah, I mean, for someone who's worked, well, I don't work on the driver, but for someone who's trying to clean things up, like I feel like I definitely have to try harder to make it work. It's probably not a bad thing. Um, that strike felt better. I do think as a result of having a little bit less kick in the shaft, it's yeah. helping you keep the head, the face forward. Yeah, good point. Right, so you're not getting as much of that sort of, you know, lead deflection true, true, of the yeah, shaft, yeah. which is going to deliver the bottom of the club, which is really, really helping a lot. Yeah, it's higher in the head for sure. Yep. Higher in the head. Okay. Not to sort of steal the punchline, but what's interesting to me as we do this, and clearly the speeder was the, the 50S was the softest shaft that you've tested so mm -hmm. far versus this one. There definitely is a bit of right to left bias going on. Yeah. Where you typically get the stiffer shafts you know, they're, they're a little bit more to the right. Softer shafts tend to go a little bit more left mm -hmm. for you. Um, let's see where we've got that strike point. Yeah, I was just striking, you were just striking that one quite a bit higher in the head. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Old Faithful 65, stiff. Really good. 
Really good. Stay. Saved by the toe. High toe. Are you feeling anything different with this one? Strike seems to be a little, or is it just, just a little bit kind of fatigued? The club feels fine, you just don't feel like you're making the best passes at yeah. it? Yeah, I definitely don't feel like I'm making the best passes. I don't know if it's, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I've hit a lot of drives, but yeah. Um, yeah, it feels harder to square this up. I don't know why, but weight, weight feels fine. Weight feels absolutely fine. Okay. All right, Mikael, last one. Yep, 6SR. 6SR, softest one we're going to try today. Sounded good. Yeah, easier to, I mean, first one, it's still a bit healy, but right away felt easier to get around the big old body. Stay. Good. How does the softer one feel? It definitely feels easier. I don't know if mentally it's like under my hands it feels softer. I mean, that's what it is. It is a softer, obviously, profile. Yeah. But it definitely feels... Quite nice. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I don't, I don't mind it at all. Not bad. A little drifty. Okay, last one. Good. 3,000 spin. Yeah, a little spitty. All right. Tired out? Yep. Need, yep. Uh, need to lie down. That is, that's not an easy test. I mean, that's a lot of shots to hit to really try and get, you know, usable data mm. amongst that. Um, let's throw them all up there, see yep. what we see, right? So... Across the board, look how similar your carry actually yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, Right, so high's been 251, low has been 242, 264 up to 274. Um, interesting, you hit the stiffest, the longest. Yeah. But your ball speed was, was quite a bit less. Less ball speed, it obviously looks like Obviously, shafts don't spin, but that spin, even in that DI6S, was a bit lower. Same in the NX70S. Spins lower, get a bit more out of it. This was, was very interesting to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, Was kind of what you started kind of off. Look at the first two were there. Then you, you sort of migrated up the head. By the time you got to the, the kind of burnt orange one here, you're up at the top. In the shaft yeah. I played, that like right now, that Speeder NX50S is exactly where I strike it, maybe a few millimeters higher, but I'm being picky. Yeah. Um, but right now Down that would be there. my my average strike. I think where we saw you with that SR was was really, really good. Mm. I mean, other than really that last one that was a Spinny. little bit thin, it was it was actually excellent on uh, on strike height. Um, if we go over here, if we look at sort of standard deviation on strikes, you know, Two millimeters here, one high, mm -hmm. three and ten, one and ten, four and two, three and five. So by far the best strike consistency was actually uh, was with uh, the SR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Same weight, just a little fraction softer. Like I said, it felt good under, under the hands. It felt like. I know they're all going left to right today, but felt like I had the chance to maybe turn one over. A bit more yeah. standing on top of it was a bit more confidence boosting, but I'm no robot. I mean, obviously face angle, when the path is going left on average, probably three and a half degrees, these are the best face angles, mm -hmm. right? So face slightly shut to the target, open to the path, lovely fade. You're a couple of two and a half degrees up consistently, Mikey. 
Dynamic lies pretty consistent across the board. Interesting in that 6X, 6SR, I mean, I'm being very picky, but it's a little bit faster. Nothing crazy to jump out at, but definitely speed is quicker. Efficiency is low, though. Yeah. Yeah. So whether that's you felt like you had to swing a little bit quicker with the, with the X, definitely. but you really struggled with the strike on that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think oh, the one that intrigued me was 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 that one. Yeah, it really changed the strike right out of the gates. If stri and obviously strike got a bit higher. Like, yeah. I mean, you look at that image there of the average. I think a lot of people would take that strike pattern. Um, spin and launch is a good window. It definitely carried more, and dispersion is is pretty. I mean, it's good. It's definitely good. Yeah, I, I think. So, so some of my takeaways here for you personally, and, and obviously for you guys as well, you you done better when you had something to sort of feel or something to to time. Ultimately, that's what we call the shaft, the timing device of the golf club, right? Yeah. It, it moves in deflection, and we feel it. We obviously feel how it impacts uh, from a, a load uh, and, and weight perspective. I thought the SR was, was interesting because mm -hmm. you, you dined it, yep. right? You had it right in the middle. So that's been the softest, the one that deflects the most, you feel it. The one that's the heaviest, you feel it, yeah. right? With the, Which was the 70S. Um, I think maybe getting into something that gives you a little bit more of a sense of where the club is uh, would, would be really quite good for you. Yeah. And so almost like a little heavier, little softer profile could actually be really quite nice. The one shaft or the one profile I'd lead you a million miles away from is light and stiff. Yeah. And I say that to a lot of people. I say, you know, light and stiff, generally speaking, is the hardest to time. Because mm -hmm. you're not feeling the deflection and you're not feeling enough weight, enough mass. Yeah, yeah, good point. You look at the long drive guys, that's why, you know, so many of them are going, now obviously they're going for sort of maximum uh, deflection, lead deflection, you know, get maximum kick from it. But, you know, they, they, they're playing super soft shafts now. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Acre 140, M0. Acre 140, M0. I mean, that, that to me felt, felt, you know, great last week. So, yeah, probably, probably right, right about there was, was where I would say DI6SR, very, very much or, you know, the same ball speed wise launch, very similar in spin. Carries about the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the face speed marginally more open. Yeah. Is probably what's causing that. Yeah, the strikes, strikes were great. Right on top of each other. Yeah. Efficiency's not bad. Okay, so these are tough tests. They're, they're labor intensive tests mm. for you for sure. But I do think they're some of the best ones that we do, Mikey. Cause yeah. These, this is why people, if I was a, if I was a viewer subscriber, um, you know, I would be looking for us to do these types of tests totally. more than any, any other type of test that yeah. we do. These are the ones I think that are, and should be our bread and butter as a channel. Mm -hmm. Taking on a task that is, is quite, quite intricate and in, in being able to interpret the data, what's actually going on. Yeah. Uh, and obviously coming up with uh, with a, a theory at the end of it that ultimately has some value for you guys. Um, and and I, I do think there's some consistency, though, for those of you who have watched the channel for a long, long time. You know, this is something we've said, generally speaking, something a little bit heavier. If you're struggling, something a little bit heavier, something a little bit softer, ha give yourself something to feel. That, for me, was, was kind of the punchline mm -hmm. here. You know, if we look again, just over where kind of Mikey was and... and you know, I'd probably like to, you know, now we've, we've got this approach at some point, I'd like to narrow this down for you and actually hit some with a little bit more energy in your yeah, tank. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing a, you know, wide, wide test there. But I think there's lots and lots of value in seeing what we did there. You know, the strikes were in the best spot. That ultimately is the moral of the story. Totally. If we can get the strike in the right spot, we as fitters can do just about anything we want. These clubs are so adjustable nowadays. You know, we've got the uh, SureFit CG mm -hmm. track around the back of this. We've got the, the adjustable loft sleeve, et cetera, et cetera. So we can do whatever we need this club to do if we have the predictability from the strike. Totally. Like you said, the shaft helps with timing. Yeah. Um, and if you can clean it up for someone, yeah, you can, you can do 
pretty much everything. I would love to play around with the hosel settings on this now in that 6SR. It's interesting to me. Is that the one that kind of was, was I somewhat think so. interesting? I, I just mentally don't know if I could go on the golf course with a 70S and actually enjoy yeah, yeah, play, yeah. Yeah. personally. Yeah. Uh, but that 6SR is definitely, is definitely heavier than what I currently play. So, yeah, but um, still has a little bit of that kick feel. Totally, fuel. totally, yeah. Yeah, good, good. Okay, guys, uh, this is why we carry the range of, of shaft options that we do. It's, it's the most extensive shaft matrix in the industry and, and that we continue to grow it because we want you guys to have options. And then ultimately, we as fitters don't know where we're gonna go uh, when, you know, before we start working with you guys. But be open to, like Mikey is, is kind of saying there, like he wants to go and try the 6SR, right? Yeah. If you go onto the, the company's website, they'll probably lead you to, you know, 90 miles an hour and under. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, you're way higher than yeah. that. You're averaging 100, 102 today, somewhere around that. You're way higher than that. But, that's what allows you to time it the best. Totally, yeah, yeah, it yeah. gives you that feel. That's exactly. So make sure you do your own te or testing, but, but obviously do it under the professional guidance of a fitter. You know, make sure you've got some shaft options at your disposal. I, I think, you know, the companies do their best, but if you're going out there to a demo day and, and that type of thing, and you've got, you know, a little, a little bag of shafts to try and, and realistically, there's only a couple in, in the ideal mm -hmm. flex and weight, you know, that you try. It's probably not enough. Um, you know, you need to get and try a, a full, you know, deep, diverse matrix of, of shafts totally, if you're going totally. to get the best out of it for yourself. 100%. Good stuff. Okay, guys, uh, if you like these sorts of videos that we do, please like this one. Make sure you do subscribe. It does help us an awful lot. We have to get the likes up on the, uh, the videos a little bit. That's what certainly gives us indication you guys are looking for more of these types of videos from us. Uh, I think that's what the case is, but uh, let us know with the likes. Please subscribe. Tons more of this type of content coming. We'll see you again soon.